Hello everyone, my name is Hadeep. Uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you are going to enjoy this video. Um, today's topic is to help you understand how to solve math equations, any sort of math questions. It can be any basic question or any sort of complex problem using OneNote. Uh, make sure you are in the drawing tab where you see all those features. So we'll do some examples. Let's start with a very basic question. Um, let's say we need to just add it to uh, double digits. So let's say 22 plus 12. And when you are going to use the equation, math equation uh, tool, make sure you select your e equation expression, uh, whatever you are trying to solve. So click on that math feature right here. Um, it interpreted correctly, so we don't really need to fix this one. And then click on select an action. Click on evaluate. Answer is 34. And the um, good thing about OneNote is you can look into the steps. Click on show steps, solution steps, right here. How do you get 12? Add 22 and 12 to get 34. Kind of explains it, but this question is very basic, so explanation is very basic as well. Uh, let's move on to some sort of uh, algebra questions. So I'm going to, uh, let's do one step linear equations, x plus 4 equal 7. Again, I'm going to uh, click on the lasso tool, select my question, and then click on uh, math equation. One thing you can also do, uh, you can ink to text. See, it converted automatically to uh, uh, text here. I prefer my own handwriting. So just click on the math equation and it again interpret it correctly. So again, just make sure when, whenever you're writing it and uh, you're using any sort of device uh, to handwrite your stuff, just make sure you write a little bit of neat or you can just type it up. Um, in case you do make a mistake, uh, you can click on fix it and it will help you to fix your equation. So select an action. And now we have a different options. So we can graph it. We can solve for x. So let's first do solve for x. Here is your answer, x equals 3. And if it, when I click on show steps, and it will provide me step-by-step -step explanation here. So now what I can do, I can just copy that down under each question right here. So here is my explanation for that. Let's stretch it up. Subtract 4 from both sides, x equals 7 minus 4. Um, and then next step. Now there's another feature called Immersive Reader. Uh, this tool, Immersive Reader, is, is kind of helpful for students with the special needs. And you can just play that and it will read it for them. And uh, it also has some sort of picture explanation to see if I click on subtract. See, it has a picture there. It kind of helps. Uh, students to see uh, what really subtract means, um, sides, what really sides means, um, equations, it's just the word there, steps. So um, it, it's kind of neat, but again, if you feel like it, this is something you want to use it. <coughs> this is what Immersive Reader does. Uh, last one is called a generate a practice quiz. Generate a practice quiz, it uh, will create more questions to help you study for your quiz or test, um, but it will only create a question based on the question you just solved it. Okay, so uh, let's try this one too. So generate a practice quiz. And you can select a number of questions you want. I will just do, I'll just do two here. Generate quiz. See, now I'm going to look at it here. And it's coming up here. See, solve for x. And these questions are based on the question I just did. And second question is also based on that. And once you answer your questions, you can click on submit. I'm not going to, let's, let's see what happened. Thank you. Your response was submitted. Let's look at the result. See, I don't answer 
um, which one is the right answer, it will mark it down for you right beside it. Okay, that's what you can do. It will automatically grade your quiz for you. So this is kind of neat. As I said before, it will only um, generate a question based on the question you previously did. Just the most recent question. All right. Um, let's do question number three now. All right. Type it up. Oops. So here I'm gonna show you how you can use a math tool to multiply two binomials. So normally, how do you multiply binomials? You use the distributive property, right? your FOIL method, whatever uh, you are, have been using it. So now, again, always you have to use the lasso tool. Um, I'm just going to use my pen and now. Select it. Whole equation is selected. I will go back to my math. And again, it, uh, it interpreted correctly. I don't need to fix anything. Click on select an action. Again, you have more options. You can integrate, differentiate, you can plot it, you can evaluate. So I'll click on here and show steps, solution steps. Here's our answer uh, with a detailed explanation. Apply the distributive property by multiplying each terms of x plus 2 by the e each term of x plus 3. And then you combine the terms 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x. And if you want to save your uh, explanation, hold it. When, it turn, when you hold it, make sure you you can hold it anywhere. Uh, hold it, drag it, bring it to your writing surface. So here is our number 3 with explanation. Let's do number 4. Now we will try to solve a linear equation here. All right, so let's do y equal 3x plus 4. I'm going to use my lasso tool to select my equation here. I'm going to go back to math. Uh, it's correct equation. I don't need to fix it. Plot, solve for x, solve for y. I'm going to put a plot in 2D. And here's my graph. Um, key graph features here. If you want to enable more options here, uh, show all on a graph, your points here. If you mouse over it, it will tell you what, what it is your x and what is your y here. Uh, so it kind of tells you what's the domain, what's the range here. And so many options here, vertical asymptote, parity, horizontal asymptote, and all the options comes here. And then you can uh, just click on insert on a page. It will show up right here. And then you can hold, uh, select on the graph, reduce the size of the image if you want. All right, so here's our graph. Uh, you can go back. Just by zooming in and zooming out, you can just change that, um, the size of the graph. So I'll go back again. Um, actually, let's do another example. Let's say you are trying to solve an x plus 4 to the power 3. Okay. Um, basically, that's x plus 4 multiplied at 3 times by itself. Okay, and now I'm going to use one note. Go to your math option. Gain, uh, I don't need to fix anything. Uh, evaluate, show steps, solution steps. Here you go. Use binomial theorem. A plus b to the power 3. This is the binomial theorem to expand x plus 4 to the power 3. So this is your a. x is your a. 4 is your b. And you put these values into your binomial theorem. And here's your uh, answer. Uh, number six, let's try to do some sort of quadratic, uh, 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. 
zero. Let's try to solve that question. This is our last question. Um, wow, everything is coming so correct today. Um, so select an option, solve for x here. It has a no solution. Uh, it has a graph plot in 2D. Okay, so both sides. We are able to do the graph here. Um, okay, let's try to do another question. We can do x plus 3 to the power 2 equal. Let's try to solve this question. We have to solve what x is. I'm going to use the lasso tool to select my equation. Go to the math. Select an action. Solve for x. So here are my two solutions. Two steps. Steps using factoring. Using quadratic formula. Um, whichever method you prefer. Let's use, uh, use the quadratic formula option. And here is your explanation. Uh, this is exactly what I was looking, looking for. See, it kind of solves all sort of complex problems too. You use the binomial theorem, and then you simplify first, and then you use your quadratic formula. All the explanation is here, um, a detailed explanation. Uh, you can also you do questions like integrate uh, integration differentiation. So, so let's say I'm trying to solve x squared. So I'm trying to solve this one. Ink to math. Here we go. Select an action. Differentiate with respect to this is the answer. Uh, evaluate this integration and then show steps, solution steps. Here you go. Here are your explanation. That's how you uh, integrate. And then you can again, I uh, mentioned earlier, generate a practice quiz. So if you want to generate a practice quiz now, it will be based on this question. Nothing, whatever we did previously. Uh, this is all I wanted to explain, uh, show it to you how you can use a OneNote as a feature called Math. Um, it will help you to solve any sort of problem from basic question 1 plus 1 to any sort of uh higher math, whichever you can think about it. Um, it has a good explanation. I hope it's uh, helpful. Um, one thing I want to mention, I'm super new to YouTube. Um, I'm doing my best to record the videos. I hope you're going to like this video or any comments, suggestions, just put that in the comment section. Thank you. Bye-bye.